Welcome to the Peer Consulting Heat Map Walkthrough. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the basic features of this consulting document, as well as walk you through how we get some of the analytical data out of this program that can facilitate change with our clients or identify problems within their operation. Now here is the actual Peer Comparison Heat Map document. Some of you may have seen this document previously but this is a brief overview of the actual document. What we can see here, if we zoom out, is this document contains several different categories. And the overall layout encompasses a single column of the different categories we wish to cover. Numerous columns here with our different clients in each column. An analytical column here with minimums, maximums, and averages. The rows up above indicate dairies, voluntary wait period, and then the blinded letters associated with each dairy. Corresponding rows on the way down the table indicate the different parameter we wish to measure. Now if we get a little bit closer in on this chart, we can see this breakdown into each different section of information. Here we have some production data, Next, we have a little bit of transition data, reproductive data, utter health data, and other category, and heifer information. You can break this table down however you wish for your practice or whatever you feel your clients are going to value. Obviously, this table is going to appear a little bit different if you're consulting with beef work versus dairy work. The other feature you might notice about this table is the actual heat map. So what you can denote here is the different colors. Bright green corresponding with the highest or first quartile, the next quartile into the light green, the third quartile into this light red to orange color, and finally the fourth quartile into this bright red color. And these particular colors have all been programmed and pre-assembled within Microsoft Excel. So for example, if I would delete them out, you can see it resets to the default color for that column, which is quartile four. And then as I repopulate the table, it will begin to reassign the information to that specific quartile that it falls into. The table will self adjust, so you don't have to worry about changing colors if you add a operation later after the initial data entry. In addition, we felt it was important that we include the minimums, the maximums, and the averages for our clients so they can readily compare themselves and have an idea of how close they actually are to the maximum production level and the minimum production level of their related peers. The one other piece of information that we felt was very important for our dairies, but you can customize to what you think is a key information point, is the stated voluntary wait period for each individual dairy. We felt that had a large impact on transition cow information as well as obviously reproduction. Those are the basic categories within the peer comparison heat map. To learn a little bit more, you can get our free course online. Simply visit our website at otovets.com and you will find a link to this free course on how to set this up, market this particular service, get clients on board, and generate additional consulting dollars based upon this report.